Hi there, I'm Janina Graham and welcome to Work Weekly. Breaking this week is the latest threat of industrial action from university staff. In response to changes to staff pension schemes, UCU members in 69 universities nationwide will begin an assessment boycott on Friday the 6th of November. The boycott will halt the marking of coursework and exams. As a consequence, students will not receive formal marks or feedback on work. The increasingly bitter dispute between unions and universities UK stems from employers' proposal to change the, the pension scheme, a move that would see members lose thousands of pounds in retirement. Last week, the University of Warwick spoke out against the pension changes, stating that they wanted a scheme capable of attracting and retaining the talent needed to sustain the university's development in the future. Many Warwick students have, vo have voiced discontent about the repercussions of such industrial action on students, insisting other measures of protest would be less disruptive to the university community. The start of the new term has seen mayhem on the buses, with huge disruptions to students' daily commute as a result of on-campus roadworks. Here's Ollie with more in the story. Thank you. I'm Ollie. The trials and tribulations of the Warwick students' tumultuous relationship with the U1 have been exacerbated by these latest disruptions. With roadworks and traffic lights installations taking place both on and off campus, the main route out of university is gridlocked, with delays of up to 40 minutes reported during peak times. I'm here at the bus stop to gauge reaction at the latest installation of the U1 saga. Uh, this term has been pretty bad, like all the traffic on the way in from Leamington, it really slows things down, so in the morning it can take like up to an hour to get in, which is a bit, it's not ideal if you want to get to your lectures on time, and, um, and there's so many, there's not enough of them either, like in Leamington, like maybe like two or three buses drive past you before you get on one, so it's really not ideal for a student really, because you're going to be waiting so long to get in. Last week, rumours surfaced of the presence of the controversial fraternity Delta Kappa Epsilon on campus. Thank you, Janina. The disputed American-based Delta Kappa Epsilon fraternity, otherwise known as DKE, has apparently consolidated its attempts to expand to UK universities, with rumours prevailing of its emergence at Warwick. Founded in Yale College in 1844, the DKE fraternity boasts the five former US presidents as past members. However, its infamy is not on account of its glittering alumni. The fraternity has a disreputable status and have been at the receiving end of numerous complaints from activists for bigotry, sexism and hazing. It is believed that DKE have a presence at Warwick University as an unofficial fraternity and are believed to have been visited by American officials earlier this year to grant it official status. The fraternity states that it believes in promoting social culture, friendship, tolerance and respect among other qualities. However, it has faced a number of controversies and has even faced long-term bans in several institutions across the United States. The move to expand in the UK has been criticised by a number of LGBT and women's rights campaigners. Whether students across the UK accept the DKE remains a question unanswered for now. And finally, students using Leamington's train station should take care to avoid spirits, but not necessarily the kind sold in Kelsey's. Chiltern Railways have hired a supernatural liaison officer following reports of spooky going on at the station, electrical equipment turning off, paperwork getting thrown about and slamming doors were cited by staff as potential paranormal activity. However, one security guard added that they were nice ghosts who had good energy. Who do they call? Nick Reeds, father of two and part-time ghost hunter. Let's just hope they can also get their trains to run dead on time. <laughs> that's, from, that's all from me. Thank you for watching. Tune in next week for more Work Weekly. In the meantime, you can check out more information on all our, on all our stories by visiting our website tv.warwick.ac.uk or our Facebook page www.facebook.com forward slash Warwick TV.